They don't make it like they used to? Don't you believe it? At Hernan Rollins Flour Mill in Seaford, five generations of the same family have upheld the tradition of excellence. Excellence that was established in 1885, the year the mill was purchased by Marcellus Hearn. We've tried to keep a quality stuff. We try to grind quality stuff. We don't buy anything that's in the freighter. We try to keep our reputation up. We always had this reputation of grinding good stuff, making good stuff. And that's been our, mostly our secret. Jake Moore, grandson of Marcellus, at age 83, is the current guide in light of this historic mill. One of the few mills remaining in America that can be run by water power, but now depends on electricity as its main source of energy. I'm around here most of the time. I stay here from probably 9 o'clock until about well, 1, 1.30, something like that, and I go home take a nap. Yes, Jake Moore has been the man on the scene at Hernan Rollins for as long as most anyone alive can remember. They come in here, oh, every once in a while, they say, well, I've been in this old mill for 50 years or 60 years, you know, on white dove flour. The mill is a busy place, grinding tons of cornmeal and flour each day, as well as a mixture of meal and flour. Business is very good. Considering everything, business is very good. Keep busy? Yeah, keep busy all the time. We work, work uh, nine hours a day. Jake Moore has seen a lot of water go over the dam at the historic mill. There's no retirement plans. He relishes every day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm contented. My wife says that uh, she's sure glad I got something to do, but she won't want to, she wouldn't want to stay around me doing what I have to do. <laughs> yes, sir.